Welcome back to the channel everybody. Today we have this 2011 uh, 750 Li and we have the owner right here. What's your name? Will. Nice to meet you. So uh, he was telling me about some problems with this 750 and he wanted some explanation about this problem. So can you tell me what were those problems that you were talking about? Um, so on my uh, back uh, rear tire overnight the back of it seems like it just sits right down on the tire, but then when I start the car up, it'll slowly raise back, I guess, to the normal height. And then um, I'm getting a couple different uh, sensors malfunctions as well. All right, so obviously I already inspected everything because I wanted to know what was the problem, but I wanted him to tell you exactly what he's going through. But uh, to start, we're gonna start with the engine. So you can actually understand what are the problems. He's getting misfire in cylinder number eight, to be specifically, and he got some problem with the EPAP system, which means that the uh, fuel tank is getting on uh, this, this per is releasing the pressure of the fuel system. Um, and the vehicle, when when you start the vehicle up in the morning, there is no pressure, so uh, it sends then there is a fuel leak. So. Uh, in this case, the engine is not misfiring at this moment. Engine is running fine. There is no problems with the engine. So definitely, the problem could be spark plugs, stuff like that. So I ask him, you haven't replaced the spark plugs, right? No, I haven't. So uh, that that could be a good start. That's for you too. If you haven't replaced the spark plugs on your 750 and you're getting problems like that, that's the first thing you gotta do: replace the spark plugs because that could be the reason why you're getting. Uh, misfire or dry time malfunction errors so now if we go to the second problem specifically here in the area of the engine is then he got a fuel leak right which is the uh the system it detects a fuel leak it is not it's dripping fuel it is just then it detects and the pressure of the tank is getting released somewhere so on this side on this side of the engine, we can see that there is clearly a fuel leak. See, this is fuel and it's getting leaked from the pressure line. This has to be fixed because, you know, it's right in the engine compartment so this can catch on fire, right? And also, you know, you get less fuel economy, right? That's one yeah. of the things, I mean, but the most important thing is because it is right in the engine compartment and this can catch on fire. Uh, and uh, that is very important when you're talking about safety. Besides that, he also is getting another code that is about the same thing, right? The uh, fuel system leak. So another reason why the fuel leak is because the fuel cap. The fuel cap the seal, this seal goes bad over the time, it gets all dry, stuff like that, or when people tighten, they don't tighten well, or they leave something here, or they tighten it wrongly, and they start messing with the seal. So, that will need replacement. It is good to start from this, replacing the cap, and replacing that fuel leak over there, and then we'll see after that. These are the cheapest way to see the problem and the obvious, uh, solutions for this problem. Also, you say that you're getting um, the tire malfunction, right? The tire pressure monitor malfunction. Yeah. The, that means that the tire system, the uh, tire monitor, is not actually registering the pressure of the tires. So it is easy to fix on that one. Uh, it is going to be a little expensive depending on what you want. But over here we can see that we have aftermarket wheels. And aftermarket wheels, the majority of cases don't have the room or don't have the way to install the tire pressure sensor. So you can see here, this is the bar for the tire pressure. And it is just a regular rubber bar. It doesn't have anything at all. So this is the reason why the tire pressure monitor is reading. Then there is not... Uh, there is no possibility for the system to register this pressure over here. The front one, in this case, the front one has it. 
the front one has the sensor over here you can clearly see the sensor over here that is the sensor you see the little nut over there that is the sensor with everything together now he is also getting another cut and that cut is the tie uh the brake system um he's getting about a cut then says then the uh the uh, brake wear the caliper brake wear on the rear it is not working properly so that's an easy fix as well uh that one it is just the sensor mostly because in this case you can see then the brakes are in a good condition so obviously it's just going to be the sensor is just to replace the sensor with a new one probably the sensor got destroyed in one of the brake replacement or the sensor is bad so the sensor goes all the way in it's hard really hard to see it usually it goes on the passenger side so uh it is just to replace the sensor with a new one and that will solve the problem out of all the problems that this 750 has the most expensive problem is going to be the uh shock absorber problem the reason why is because this one in the rear area has air suspension it is just on the rear it doesn't have it in the front so uh the problem will be then uh then the little airbag then the then the shock absorber has it start getting bad over the time so it's gonna big air you know it's normal so the solution for this is to replace the shock absorber entirely um, and if you want to buy it OEM from BMW dealer that's like a super expensive part $1,000 plus depending uh, where you get it uh, you can eBay one and that probably is going to be around 600 a pair and uh, it's better to replace it in pairs because they, that's the way they work because if you replace this one eventually that one is gonna go bad because it's still bad so I mean uh, it's better to replace an pair by view but an OEM that's like a $2,000 plus labor and that is going to be a super expensive uh, repair to do and uh, basically this is a walkthrough on all the problems that he has on this uh, 750 and I, I'm pretty sure that these problems then this 750 has are the very common problems that every 750 owner I'm going to have uh, on the life of this 750. So uh, besides that, do you have any other problem? Um, not that I could really think of in a moment. That's pretty much yeah. That's pretty much it. Well, did, did I respond to all your questions? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so now you know what you wanna do. And uh, I mean, like talking about the. Uh, the spark plugs, that's something that you can do if you really want to do it. You can watch my, one of my videos on how to replace the spark plugs and you can guide yourself on how to replace the spark plugs. That's not a big deal. If that doesn't fix the problem, that means then the, then the problem is deeper. So that means it requires a really intense um, experience, you know, like a really intense uh, diagnostic, right? Mm -hmm. In this case, I'm telling you to do that because that's the base. Okay. I mean, we, you have to start somewhere, right? Yeah. So yeah. We're, we're going to start with the hardcore stuff. So we're going to start with the easy stuff. You know? <laughs> yeah. That's the way to start. So, yeah. so if that's what you're going to do with the brakes. That's something then you replace your, the brakes yourself, right? No, I didn't. Okay. So that majority of people replace their brakes yourself because it's not a big deal. But if you haven't, well, uh, if it's not a big deal, to remove the sensor on the back, the brake sensor, you just pull it out and then uh, put the new one, and that's pretty much it. Oh, okay. But if you don't feel like you can just go to the same person to replace the brakes of your car, and he will be able to do it. Just oh, buy okay. the new sensor. Okay. And if you wanna be, uh, if you wanna have a better repair, just buy the front and the rear sensor. Okay. Both of the sensors, you know? Okay. So that way, uh, you're gonna have both of the new sensors and you will actually have a better repair because the front one can go bad, the rear one can go bad, and then you have problems. Yeah. And uh, with the fuel leak there, you just uh, replace the cap, you buy a new cap, Amazon, eBay, or you go to the dealer, that's not going to be uh, that much expensive. That leak over there is pretty much the seal. You, re you remove that clip and then you pull. This is a clip over here, that is a clip. You just remove this clip from here, and uh, once you remove this clip, you 
push this one in and then pull it out. That's like a quick connect tight. So that's what okay. you do. So uh, this clip, that's right, the clip is right here. So you can see a drip of fuel, right? Yeah, yeah. You saw a drip of fuel right now. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's why I'm telling you. So yeah, see, we keep fuel. So you, <laughs> you are you are buying fuel and letting it go everywhere, you know? Yeah. So that one is just a seal. It has a seal. I don't know if BMW sells that seal. So if they don't, you have to buy the whole hose. There's a hose and goes connected to the see this hose over here. Mm -hmm. But you have to try it out. I mean, like, uh, I'm pretty sure you will find it okay. somewhere. Okay. So, uh, and that would be the solution. The, the current car doesn't have that many major problems right now. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, that doesn't mean that you won't get them. So uh, still running fine, still running in a good condition. So I guess that that will be uh, the whole explanation of the problems on this uh, 750. And um, uh, that's pretty much what you're gonna get. Probably later we're gonna do more repairs. We can have in contact if you will have any other repairs that you cannot fix, probably we can take care. Okay. And put it on a video so everybody can see too, you know, okay. how the repair process goes. Okay. But at the moment, that is all we're gonna have for you. So uh, if you like the video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel that is very important so we can, you know, get community on doing more videos like this. Uh, also share this video for everybody that wants knowledge like this and they want to understand more and more about these cars, you know, trying to help everybody out. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram. Thank you.